Player 2, Press Start! Hi everyone and welcome back to Player 2 Press Start. I'm Brian. And I'm Jenkins. And we are playing Earthbound. Yes, we are. <laughs> Said that really weird. Yep. Uh, last time on Earthbound, we made our way into town, started fighting the sharks. I may have died, and uh, now we're back. Off screen, I went and got the cheap bracelet. I'm actually going to fight the last shark you can fight in the arcade right now. But we went and got the cheap bracelet. We ground some uh, sharks a little bit just so we should level on this fight. He just called you spanky. Yeah, he did. Now, I don't, I don't want to show a lot of grinding and stuff on screen, so that's why we chose to do it off screen real quick. But I don't want to level off screen if I can avoid it, so that's why we kind of staged this. Now, I should level. Let's see. Oh, oh no! no. Fail. Foiled again! Oh, well, I went with fail. Yeah, yeah, with that works. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, you know what? Screw it. We'll just go with it, and uh, we'll fight this boss up here. It's recommended that you're at least level 6. We're level 5. Oh man, we're pretty low on health. But you know what, I'm gonna try it. We're gonna try and make this hard. If you're level eight, this is really easy, so between eight and six, I'd go for it. I'm we're playing. level five though, so. Well, here we go. And here we are, the mob boss of town, Frank. Now, what you want to watch out for is he can brandish a knife and do some high damage. Yeah, that's his low one. Oh, really? I missed? So you want to keep your health up fairly high in case he does do that. You can use hypnosis that has about a 50% chance to work. It's recommended that you don't. There he goes, brandishing his knife. Because he'll wake up right, in, right away. Uh, let's just see. Not uh, my guts! You actually want him to say something nasty. It's essentially a wasted move because this early on guts isn't super essential. Yeah, man, keep doing it. Works for me. Yeah, you're actually getting quite lucky here. Now, I think he only has about 60 health, I can't remember, so this shouldn't take too long. I think that should be it. Wow, you got extremely lucky. <laughs> yeah, I did. Wow, he just he just kept he just kept yeah, shit we leveled. Him. He's just like saying What you got? Nice. What you got? Go through Frank can't be beaten. Buff, buff, buff. Frankie Steam Mach 2! Yeah, we're just when you thought the fight was over. It's not. Phase 2. We got Frankenstein Mark 2. Frankie Steen. What did I say, Frankenstein? Yeah. <laughs> One of the two. Now, again, this is gonna be, yeah, he's gonna waste his turn every other turn just generating steam. So you have a moment to heal up, whatever. That punch is the lower end. He can charge forward and that'll or tear into you or something. And it's about 40 damage, so you want to keep yourself above that. But I mean, other than that, it's, yeah, tear into you. It's a pretty straightforward fight, so it's fairly easy. Now we're going to want to heal because he'll kick my ass. Uh, yeah, I kind of feel like they made this a uh, little bit easier. Um, just sort of due to the fact that you just fought a boss that could really kick your ass. Yeah, you could beat the hell out of you. So this Shank one. Shank you. If you know his pattern, becomes really easy. Yeah. All right, we won. All right. It's the first major boss fight. No, I, I call it a sub boss. Well, I'm, I call it a major. I, I guess it's just it is a sub boss. Now he's gonna tell us about Giant Step. He hangs out there. It's awesome. <laughs> but it's difficult to get to. Oh, uh, you know, I'm gonna take this opportunity just to point out the new layout of our channel. Uh, there's a few changes. Uh, one of the major ones is now we're going to be updating new episodes Monday through Thursday instead of just twice a week. Um, as well, we also took off our subscription meter. Oh, side note here, you can come back, talk to Frank, and it's a free rest. So now we don't have to go all the way back to mommies. Yeah, it's good stuff. But uh, yeah, back to saying we took down the subscription gauge and now it's just the uh, viewometer. Or viewometer. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, every time you come in, he's going to ask you that. It gets pretty annoying. Yeah. 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 And, uh, yeah, so we got the viewometer, and if it fills up, you know, something good might happen. A little bonus for you guys. We won't tell you what yet, though. It's a surprise! Surprise. Oh, wait, where, where am I going? I don't know. <laughs> where are you going? I don't know. After you talk, or after you kill Frank, or not kill him, make him tame? Tamed him, yeah. Tamed him. He's my little bitch. You yeah. want to go to Town Hall and talk to the mayor, so that's mayor where we're heading right now. B.H. Pericle. That's how I pronounce his name. We're totally not timing this. <laughs> this might get bad. Uh, mm. Yeah, what are you gonna do, copper? Leave me alone. Hi, 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 hi! Beat up the town bullies, punch them out big time, kick their butts, spit their heads off, spit in their eyes, and made them wet their pants. 
Really? You, is that, is that you his... want a key to the turn? You gotta stay in your shack. That must have been what that smell was. Yeah, he's just like awesome. He did great. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's like, I won't be responsible for this kid, right? Just, just give me the key, man. Got the key to the shack. The cop's right there, doesn't care. Now, it should be pretty obvious where you want to go now. Well, there's somewhat There's obvious. like one shack in town. You got the key to it. You're trying to go to Giant Step, obviously. But I mean, if you hadn't seen that shack oh. before, you might have to do some. We got a magic butterfly here. I don't think we've seen one yet. Oh, that would be the first one. But, uh, you know, you just run into them, freezes a little the glitter on you, and you recover 20 PP. Super helpful. Especially when you're in the field. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of PP recovery items in this, so magic butter butterflies are quite essential to getting through the game. And you typically want to hold on to your PP item recoveries whenever you uh, get them. Yeah, avoid the dog. I think he's trying to avoid you at this point. I'll avoid you. Door's locked! In fact, we should probably tell them about that. And whenever you want to op use a key to open a door, you actually do have to go into your inventory yeah, to do slightly it. Slightly annoying. Yeah. Now, before you go in there, you want to talk to these guys. Wow, you opened the door! And you get Travel Charm. Super helpful. Oh, yeah. It's the first body equipment you can get. It doesn't seem like it does anything. I think it gives you, like, one luck or something like that. Super helpful. Yeah, that slot does get important later on. But you want to... Oh, this is a fancy place. <laughs> I, like the, I like the bed springs it's coming straight out of the... Oh, and here we go, our first dungeon of the game, Giant Step. Uh, standard cavernous area, I guess. Ooh, wow. I wonder what this guy does. His nose is yeah, so... Yeah, they move weird. with you, so you can kind of judge when you're going to encounter these. Yep. Here we go, Rowdy Mouse. These guys aren't too bad. I mean, they'll do a biting attack, that's all they can do, and... There's the kicker. They're pretty much always gonna smash. They have 225 guts, so especially at this point in the game, that's that's rather high. But as you can see, if they don't crit or smash, uh, they don't smash, it's just one HP of damage. So they're not too bad. I kind of feel like those enemies are a clever way to introduce um, the mechanic of enemies smashing you. Because it's not gonna kill you, but later on it very well can, uh, an enemy smashing. Uh, I think there's a present in here. I wanna say skip sandwich. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, well, I knew that too. <laughs> just didn't say anything. Just keeping it to yourself, too cool for school. I just don't want to spoil it. Let's see if I can avoid these guys. But what a skip sandwich does, it recovers a small amount of health. I'm not going to use it yet. But it makes you walk faster on screen. So you can get through areas a little quicker, maybe avoid enemies. Another rowdy mouse. It's huh? kind of fun, kind of a flavor item. Yeah! Uh, get it, sandwich flavor. Oh god, it's so lame. <laughs> <laughs> I know. All right. Uh, let's let's use that bread roll that rat gave me. <laughs> rat bread, the this, new sensation. This mouse has got a bread roll. I'm gonna take that shit. <laughs> Looks delicious. <laughs> no questioning where it's been. What's diseased or whatever. Now Just... there's actually three other enemies or two other enemies in here. I guess that there's a boss. You can count him too. But I want to run into him so I could show you something besides Rowdy Mouse. Well, we'll get to him eventually, maybe, possibly. Oh! No, I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get the sneak up attack. It's not going to happen if you try to get it. Oh, never. Nothing goes my way. <laughs> snarf, snarf! <laughs> oh, uh, just die. You're making everything tame. Yeah, That's just what Nest does. I'm a tamer. Hits it with his bat. Oh, uh, that's empty. Empty cavern, I guess, so I'm not going in there. Oh Alright, here we go. I know swarm. what these are. Swarm. The swarm. Attack slug. Hey. Yes. <laughs> now, these are kind of cool because in this game, there are types of enemies that'll swarm like this. And what's really funny about them is they're essentially useless. Uh, these guys are only going to hit you for a few HP of damage. They'll try and do uh, psychic attacks, and they just can't do it. It's kind of a joke. I mean, if you think about it, it's supposed to be intimidating that there's a, you know just a ton of these guys, but really, they don't do anything. But at the same time, I believe they do call for help, and um, at that point, it can get really annoying. Especially the later versions of these enemies, where eventually they can actually use those psychic attacks, but this early in the game, really nothing to worry about. Uh, there's a cold remedy in there that'll get rid of a sickness if you have a cold, but I just think it's a waste of inventory space at this point. We don't even have a cold, so... <laughs> uh, 
And the last type of enemy in here, the black antoid. These things are quite annoying. Uh, I think you're actually thinking about these, not the attack slugs. These will call for help. Ah, like yes. that! Yeah, yeah, there you go. And they'll hit you for a fair amount of damage. And yes. that's the worst part. They heal each other. They, you have life up, they have life up. I just hit the wrong guy, didn't I? I really missed. You missed the wrong move. guy. Double yeah. fail. And they hit you about the same amount of Rowdy Mouse would if they crit. Ah, oh, crit. Smash! The smash! Oh. I'm a genius. Well, at least no one came. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you. Mm. Whoa, whoa, what are you <laughs> talking about? I don't know. Oh. Back to the game. Um, yeah. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Smash. Smash. Get out of here. Now, you do get some damn good experience from all these guys, so that's definitely a plus. Yeah, I mean, if it can especially accumulate if they keep calling for help and you're just like, oh, I want to kill them. But then at the end of the battle, you're like, oh, wow, look at all that EXP I just leveled. So, it's kind of cool. A little bit. Oh, come on, I don't want to just keep... Oh, god damn it, I hate the wrong guy again. Oh my god. <laughs> you need to stop doing that, because, yeah, you do want to kill the slugs. Or, no, the black antoids. You want to kill those first, if possible. Pretty much any enemy that's going to call for help, you want to kill them. Mm-hmm. Or, yeah. I, I always loved this place when I was younger, this first dungeon. I don't know why, I just, I like the antoids. They're really kind of... I don't, I don't want to say cute, but just kind of cool. Could it be that this is the point in the game where you start to really become strong? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, this is when you really start to actually feel the progression, and uh, it's quite nice. Now, I want to show them a, a trick real quick. Uh, yeah, there's pretty much always going to be a magic butterfly up here. But, say you're a little bit too low on PP, I think we're full though, right? Yeah. Well, trick is, you can just come up here, dance around a bit, and when you come back down, it's back! Oh, the joys of randomized on-screen enemies. Yes. And items. But, um, you know what? I'm gonna cut off the episode here since we weren't timing. I have no idea how long it's going. Could be 10 minutes, could be 20 minutes, I, I don't I, know. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I guess next time on Earthbound, we'll continue through Giant Step, and we'll actually encounter the boss, too. So, uh, stay tuned!